Former Transport Minister Anthony Locke ensured that Pakatan Harapan would get to the bottom of the LRT problem if it returned to power. He noted that the LRT is a crucial component of Klang Valley's transportation network. With over 300,000 commuters relying on the service daily, Locke said the service disruption would pose a huge hassle for many. The DAP Secretary General said if Harapan wins the polls, immediate steps would be taken to rectify the technical problems with the LRT system. The short-term solution, Locke said, would be for the Transport Ministry to provide more buses for the next seven days and to extend the validity of the monthly tickets purchased by commuters as a form of compensation. Earlier today, PKR Communications Director Lee Chen Chong demanded the resignation of Rapid Rail CEO Amir Hamdan. Rapid Rail is the Pasarana subsidiary which manages and operates the LRT and KL Monorail. Meanwhile, Prasarana Chief Executive Officer Muhammad Asaruddin Matsa said the Klanajaya LRT line had to be suspended at 16 stations because there was a recurring and unprecedented breakdown in its signaling system. Due to this, he said the control center is unable to track the train's location and this posed a safety hazard.